Natural Resources Natural resources are riches provided courtesy of Mother Nature. Natural resources are something of value that people get from the environment. Many of them are essential for our survival, while others are used for satisfying our wants. Natural resources are resources that occur in nature and can be used to create wealth. Sun, land, water, soil, plants, minerals, forests, and animals are all natural resources. These natural resources are classified into different categories. They are classified on four parameters. Origin, Renewability, Availability, Distribution. On the basis of origin, they are classified as biotic resources and abiotic resources. Biotic resources include living organisms such as animals, plants, and microorganisms. Abiotic resources include non-living things such as land, water, air, soil, and forests. These comprise of the basic natural surroundings that all organisms live in. On the basis of renewability, they are classified as renewable and non-renewable resources. Some resources are renewable, which means they can be replaced or grown back. For example, agricultural crops are renewable natural resources. After they are harvested, more seeds can be planted and grown. Thus, renewable resources can be depleted by human consumption, but they may be replenished. Wind power is also a renewable resource that has been used for thousands of years to pump water, irrigate crops, and also to soil boats. Forests are also renewable resources, but they take a very long time to get replenished or renewed. Similarly, water also takes a very long time to get replenished despite being a renewable resource. Sunlight and wind are those renewable resources which are available in abundance and their quantity is not affected by human consumption. They are also called inexhaustible natural resources as they are present in unlimited quantity in nature and are not likely to be exhausted easily by human activity. A non-renewable resource is a natural resource that exists in a fixed amount that cannot be remade, regrown, or regenerated as fast as it is consumed and used up. Fossil fuels are non-renewable resources. Coal, petroleum, and oil are examples of such fossil fuels. These resources are also called exhaustible resources as the amount of these resources is limited. They can be exhausted by human activity in the long run. Fossil fuels take millions of years to form from the remains of plants, animals, and microorganisms. Through the years, these plants and animals died and were buried by layers of sediments, sand, and water. More layers of sediments got deposited burying the remains deeper within the earth. The pressure from these layers, along with the heat from the earth's crust on the biotic materials, resulted into rock layers that formed the crude oil and natural gas deposits. Since the process of formation of such fossil fuels takes so long, they cannot be replenished easily once they get depleted. On the basis of description, natural resources are classified as ubiquitous resources and localized resources.
The word ubiquitous means found everywhere. As the meaning suggests, ubiquitous resources are distributed everywhere and the best examples of the same are land and air. Natural resources found only in certain regions or locations are known as localized natural resources. Specific type of minerals and other fossil fuels are examples of such resources. There are different ways in which we use natural resources. For instance, we use plants for food in the form of fruits and vegetables. The wood that we get from trees is used for manufacturing furniture, paper, boxes, books, as well as clothes. All these are products that we use on a daily basis and also on very large scale. We use animals like cattle for food as well as for getting dairy products such as milk. Milk and milk products form a part of our daily diet in one way or the other. We also rely on animals for the manufacturing of various leather products like leather shoes, bags, coats, as well as belts. We use rocks and minerals to make a variety of materials such as glass, metal and ceramics. We convert fossil fuels into energy to power and heat our homes and fuel modes of transportation that include planes, buses, boats, as well as cars. These resources are thus helping our day-to-day -day lives function smoothly. Petroleum, a fossil fuel, is also used to make various plastic products that we use every day, either in the form of bottles, pens, bags, as well as many other products. We are using natural resources faster than they can be replenished. For example, forests are being cut down in order to supply our demand for wood and land. Rainforests, often called lungs of the earth, are being cut down at the rate of 50 million acres a year. Our dependence on the natural resources is creating many problems in the environment, including pollution and the loss of habitat for plants and animals. Collecting and burning fossil fuels for energy can damage the environment, polluting air, water and land. Natural resources take time to replenish, so it is important that we use them wisely. How can we save our natural resources? When you conserve, you save or protect something from loss or harm. We can conserve our natural resources in many ways. We can use the three R's, that is, reduce, reuse, and recycle to conserve natural resources. We can conserve water by taking shorter showers, turning off faucets and taps when we do not need water, and fixing leaky pipes. We can recycle glass metal, paper and plastic to conserve and protect the natural resources. Recycling helps in the manufacturing of other useful products and also avoids wastage. The use of fossil fuels can be reduced by turning off the lights and appliances when we do not need them. We can use energy saving bulbs as well which can help us save electricity. To conserve non-renewable fossil fuels, we can also use alternate sources of energy. One of them is wind energy that is generated with the help of windmills. Wind being an inexhaustible resource can be utilized in this way as an alternate source of energy and converted into electricity.
solar energy is another form of an alternate source of energy which can be used nowadays. It creates less or no pollution. Solar energy is capable of satisfying all our needs very easily. We need to find a way to tap this incredible source of energy. Some vehicles run on biodiesel, a fuel that is made from vegetable oils, animal wastes or recycled greases. This alternative source of energy creates less pollution than burning fossil fuels. Natural resources are nature's gifts that we need to hold on to. It is imperative that we conserve and protect them as our survival is dependent on theirs.